all well. Today is Saturday the 19th of March and I thought I would do a little vlog today. I don't know if it will be a daily vlog or a weekend vlog. We'll just wait and see what we end up getting up to. There's Clyde. Hello Clyde. Hello puppy. Yeah, so it's just a normal Saturday morning so far. It's quarter to eight. I've been up, I've had my shower, I've done my bits of housework and I'm in my craft room now. And very soon we will be taking Abby to work and then going to Asda for the shopping, just the usual. And I'm not sure what we'll get up to after that. I think Brooke's going to the park to see her friends and what else? Oh, we've got stuff coming from Amazon today because <laughs> the dogs kind of wrecked our bedding. Not intentionally. Well, we don't think. Willa's got a thing about opening doors. So Willa has been opening our bedroom door and the dogs have then been going in and playing about on the bed. Now when Clyde zoomies, he, he gives it all this and he's got quite sharp claws, even though we do file them, he has got sharp claws. So he zoomies on the bed, which makes a hole in the sheet or the duvet cover. And the more they do it, the worse it gets. Then of course, whenever there's a hole somewhere, Hugo likes to get hold of the flappy bit and pull at it and makes it worse. So I don't know how many duvet covers and sheets we've gone through, but the latest casualty was one of my treasured possessions, our feathered duvet. <laughs> Wait until you see this. This is what I have just came into. <laughs> I think uh, we need a new duvet and we need a lock on the door, I think. Yeah, so I tried to patch it up, but it didn't happen. And we can't afford another feather one just now, unfortunately, but just very sad. And also, it was an emperor size set that we had. Although it's a super king size bed, we got the emperor bed in because with having me, Jack, and potentially three dogs in the bed at one time, we need the extra quilt. <laughs> but it's so expensive to get the duvet cover and everything for it so this time because like most people just now we've not got a lot of money we've just gone for a bog standard super king size quilt and um, just a cheap duvet cover set and a new sheet because that one's full of holes as well uh, from Amazon so they should be coming today because last night we had our spare quilt which was a uh, I think it's it's either a three quarter or a double and that's nowhere near big enough so Jack had the, quip, the sleeping bag open as well it was like being in the caravan again so they'll be coming today so we'll be getting the bed all sorted and we'll get a lock for our door as well and um, the girls have already got them on their doors and I mean the dogs are allowed in the rooms when we're in it's just when we're not in the room and they're going in and wrecking things that mm, not good. So yeah, if we're investing in new duvet covers and things, we're getting a lock. But other than that, no plans. Let me show you the latest thing that I've made. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I've booked a stall at the Youth Cafe fundraising day. So I'm trying to think of crafts that will appeal to sort of teens. That, see, that's well, I just opened my bedroom door and went in. Um, that will appeal to teens, our sort of tweens, if you like, boys and girls. So I made this. It was inspired by things that I saw at the Comic-Con. And I'm really proud of it. I really like it. Look at that. Star Wars frame. So this is actually a frame that I picked up in one below when we were out at the concert the other day. And it was a Mother's Day frame that I have converted. It was a pound. And there, we've got a little Star Wars figure there and there. Now, they were in a Star Wars blind bag that I also got on one below. And the rest I made myself. Um, I printed off the papers. I made the Stormtrooper out of perler beads. And I made the little um, 3D Star Wars thing there. And I think that is fantastic. I really like it. So I think that sort of thing will go down well at the store. So I'm definitely going to have to go into one below and pick up some more of those frames and blind bags. See if I can get different ones. I think they had Toy Story ones and things like that as well. So that would be quite good. And also I've started making like little friendship bracelets out of the perler beads. And I said to Brooke, you know, 
do you think your friends would buy this sort of thing? Obviously all different colours. And she said, yeah, if there's a charm on it. So I'm going to have to try and make little charms. I said, what kind of charms? She went, like, game things like Fortnite and things like that. So I'm going to try and make little charms to put on the friendship bracelets as well. So that's what I've been up to recently. Not an awful lot. I'm going to go and get on with my day and I will come back to you in a little while. See you soon. It's another gorgeous morning. Isn't it, Lilla? It's a beautiful day. I'm loving that it's spring. It's next week the clocks go forward, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, my boy. Hello, Hugo. Asda done. There was a couple of things we couldn't get, so we're going to nip into B&M. And then that'll be us. Going home. Yeah, oh, it's the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here doing some crochet and watching Dancing on Ice. I'm weeks behind. And Jack's just about to wash the windows out there, so I'm going to catch the dog's reaction to the windows getting jet watched. They usually go nuts. Ah, it's maybe not the windows he's doing, it's maybe the actual um, terrace that's getting washed. He's moving all the furniture. It's still a gorgeous day. Brooke's just leaving the park and apparently her and her friend are going to go and play on the paddle board at the beach. So my mum or dad will be going down with them to keep a wee eye on them. Hugo's at the other side of my wheelchair there watching intently. What's happening, Hugo? You go. He's over it now. He's realised it's not a hassle. Eh, you clipper boy? Are you a clipper boy? Like, there's nothing to worry about, Mum. It's all good. <laughs> Jack's busy, busy, busy out there. It's amazing what a power washer can do. Are uh, you getting sorted to go down the beach? Cool. Oh, oh, ah, Molly got it. <laughs> It's a lovely day for it, isn't it? The water's nice and calm. It'll be perfect. Yeah, that's look. <laughs> My dress are getting changed. Cool. Okay, and remember, put your water shoes on and carry your clippers. I'm not going to wear my clippers today. All right, okay. <laughs> It's three o'clock. I'm back in my craft room just now because Jack's watching the football and I don't know if I'll get up to much at this time but I'm watching different videos to try and get inspiration of things to make for the stall. Um, Brooke and her friend are just away down to the beach so it's great when you get nice days like this and they can go and amuse themselves at the beach. Hopefully we'll get a lot of them over the summer. It'd be nice. They do need to have an adult obviously just in case because they are playing in the water but They've got all their gear on and they're all happy. So yeah, that's us. That's what we're up to at the moment. The dogs are loving the good weather too. Jack wondered where Clyde was and he was out there lying there on the couch, quite happy in the sunshine. Brooke and her friend are back up from the beach. They had good fun on the paddle board, but it got a bit chilly for them. 25 past four, I've just fed the dogs and I'm about to feed us. Wait until you see what we got at Asda. We decided to get a create your own pizza and would you look at the size of that pizza? <laughs> I 
This is a large, um, thick, deep pan with mushrooms, onion, bacon and extra cheese. Look at the size of it. It is huge. It is absolutely huge. And that was, what, £4.40 or something? Now, when you think of what you would pay for that in Domino's, that is a bargain. So I'm just going to pop this on just now. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a nice, easy dinner for us. You know what I'm like on a Saturday? I like an easy dinner. I like an easy dinner any day I don't cook. <laughs> Clyde had his dinner and he's away back out again. It's so good to be able to sit with the door open again, but I don't know if they're showing up on the camera or not. The midges are out already. That's the, the one curse about living here, the midges. One hoop. So look at that. Oh, Brooke's waiting patiently to get hers and she's eating a cup That's of a cheese at the moment. It is a big pizza, isn't it? You're eating a cup of cheese at the moment, aren't you? We need to go on a whole new diet after that. <laughs> yep, <laughs> no diet today. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> well, dinner was delicious and we have just had the delivery. So we have got the kraut and hopefully the duvet cover and the sheet in there. I've not actually looked yet. But we can't decide whether we want to do it just now or let dinner digest. Oh, has he decided? Jack said, I Jack says, I can't do a duvet now. Tell us if you know who the comedian is. Who spoke about doing the doovy? <laughs> we're just went for grey. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So we've got a super tiny deep fitted sheet. And we just went for cheap and cheerful. We weren't certain what it looked like, but it looks okay. Super king size doovy set. One doovy cover, two pillowcases, and that is what it will look like. Eh. And it is a really crappy quality, to be fair. Uh, but it's a super king doobie, 13 and a half tog, and it is on, it was only like £16. You can tell by the material that it's just cheap. But at the end of the day, it's only to do us until we're back on our feet financially because I want another feather one. And until Hugo stops chewing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's us. We'll get all this sorted. There we go. It's fine. Jack says it's a bit trippy. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't want to go to bed drunk with that one, would you? But, hey, it'll do. We just need to get used to having a smaller duvet cover again because already we're fighting over it when we were putting it on. Jack was pulling it at his side and I was pulling it at my side where that used to have in the, the Emperor uh, duvet cover on the Super King size bed. But, hey-ho, we need to get used to it, eh, Willa? Right, you two. Clyde and Willa. No zoom in on it, okay? No holes. And we'll tell Chugo the same, won't we? Mm-hmm. And Dad's going to get the lock on the door as well, Willa, so you'd stop opening it. Go on then. Up you go. You're going to be on... You're going to be first on it? Is Willa going to be first on it? Go on then. What do you think? Does it get your seal of approval? Does it? Ah, oh, well, it's half past seven. Abby's just making her dinner and I'm going to my bed. That's good, eh? <laughs> the rock and roll lifestyle that we know. Uh, yeah, we are knackered. So we're going to go to our new bed. Well, it's not a new bed, but it's a new new sheet, new quilt, new cover. That and let's hope that the dogs don't Honestly, it was Oh, that trip to Asda was too much. Like, it, it was a mad At one. At that age, you can't risk that at your age. <laughs> you are so cheeky. That's what you're acting like, oh, it was such a, such a hard day wheeling around Asda, <laughs> getting those big pizzas. Oh, that, that was price a just shocked though. me. £4.20 for that massive pizza. That would have been about 40 quid in Domino's. It wasn't. We actually, we paid like £56 <gasps> on Thursday because I got a pizza. I got my, my make your own medium. Uh -huh. Xander got a pepperoni medium with the garlic bread pizza oh, size. Nice. And then his wee cousin got a pizza and his gran got a pizza. Oh my god. It, that was with a deal. It was meant to be £82. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I don't know how Domino's gets away with it. Anyway, yes, so we are going to our bed. I have decided I'm just going to make this a one day vlog. I think I've got enough footage for today and I'm doing nothing tomorrow. Showing anyway. all the rollback prices. All the rollback prices. The roll around Asda prices. So I am, uh, 
Yeah, I've, I've got nothing planned for tomorrow anyway other than taking Abby to work and picking her up. That's going to be my day tomorrow. So I thought I would just end this vlog here and I will probably vlog again on Monday because Jack and I are going out again twice in one week. Oh. And I'm going out. Uh, you're going out next week. Oh, not on Monday. Not on Monday. No. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop here for now and get to bed. Hello puppy cat. Don't know where he's away to. Probably the next room as usual. Um, yes, so uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below and I will see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!